ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jimadism Total Nerdry channel. We are here in From the Depth, and today we are simply going to look at our new little beautiful creations. Now, first out is not the most advanced thing. <laughs> it is just the jet version of my Bane airplane. But I changed the AI routine so it works much better in the air and I changed the weaponry to a faster type of simple weapon as well as well as modified the missiles to be able to hit a little um, more often basically so let you let me just show you real quick quickly now our next project will like help us a little bit <laughs> with the AA support um, so that's a problem, but it's not fully set up. Um, hopefully you will be able to see it working. Ah, these beautiful, very maneuverable missiles. They're pretty nice. I'm very happy with the setup of these missiles. They have like turning thrusters, they have fins and all that good shit. Um, they work pretty well. Anyways, that's kind of dead. Let, let me show you. Just respond a bomber here and we'll see what happens. Now it's kind of dark, but it's starting to get less dark a little bit. So I guess we're going to start to see, <laughs> see the enemy soon. Something broke apparently. That's sad. I don't know why. Kind of fast guns. Ah, and the beautiful missiles, missiles are popping up like that. Working pretty well. I'm kind of happy with a with a performance of a Bane. Yes. I don't know if the gun change makes a huge difference, but like a big part of me why I wanted this change was to have something like make it different basically. Because you know I know. Oh well, we at least have the water start uh, so we can deal with it. Anyways, if you wonder why it's lagging all the time, it's my damn ship that's... It, its maneuver function seems very broken. Like super broken. I said you need at least 30 meters of depth to maneuver. And you should only... you should kind of test the ground kind of often. And it just ignores it. So let us clean up a little bit. And I here present you with Ymir. My working progress. A huge battleship. For me, it's a huge battleship. Uh, maybe I should just call it Big Battleship or something. But I know some people think that this is a small ship. For me, this is a huge ship. I mean, these are 200. This is the largest size cram you can have. It has two of those turrets. Biggest type of cram. Even double barrel. They're amazing. Huge. We have a beautiful little frontal cannon here, it uh, shoots some really heavy shots. We don't have a ramming routine, but I think that, you know, if someone tries to run into us, we should at least have uh, some, some survivability. We have some decent armor. I mean, let me, uh, let us just do like this. <laughs> Welcome back. From the depth actually blue screened our PC and it's like the fourth or third time. From the depth, fix this, it's a serious issue. I'm positive that uh, from the depth blue screens the PC. I mean, it's always when I run the game I get blue screens, never any other time. Anyways, okay, I st <laughs> we're back. We lost some recording, but... Um, I want to show you the new version of the Valras. Here is the finished Valras, which uh, me and Xarber updated a little, bit, a little bit, so it has some nicer routines and work a little better, and it's real nice and all now. It's uh, pretty decent and very crammed. Anyways, um, it had a problem. I mean, these take out missiles, uh, so it basically didn't have any anti-air cannons. So, me and Sauber worked together until we came up with a Mark II. 
The Mark II has an anti-air turret combo here with Xarbor made. And we have some uh, um, improved systems over there. So uh, let us just... Uh, let us just uh, spawn a few planes. So you can see the anti-air cannon in effect. Now it tries to use the um, heavy shells against it as well, but yeah. Nice. Now the anti-air turret is online again, and you can see uh, it does a pretty decent job. Of course, it's not uh, it's not super amazing, but uh, the heavier heavier uh, shell there does give some nice hits when it does hit. Basically, can annihilate a small plane just like that, almost. Oh well, uh, that's the Mark II though, and while this is more efficient and more optimized, um, like it's objectively the better battlecraft, but I just have to say that I kind of like our uh, Mark I more, you know, the little cockpit, not cockpit, it's the bridge on the ship. The bridge area looks nice here, and we have this beautiful little radar thing Xarbor made. So I kind of like the aesthetics of this one, but you know, this is the better battler. Yeah. That's the Valorous for you. Now we're back to the Emir. Of course, we're back to the Emir. And uh, I shouldn't go around and praise this ship too all too much, because it's not even finished yet. The anti-air cannon isn't properly set up, it just temporarily uses the same ammo as uh, this one <laughs> the same shell it fits so i just threw it in there but i need to have some nice flak shells for the anti-air cannon for it to be completely efficient and uh, there are th some things needing improvement i'm not sure if stuff works very well like we had some problems with the steam engine uh, when we upgraded this one to uh, the dev test, um, some components changed, so the steam engine didn't work anymore. Um, it burns a humongous amount of fuel, by the way. Let us, let us just dive into this thing and see a little bit, perhaps, for fun, you know. And uh, you can see the insides too. See how much it burns now. Um, the maximum it can burn is like 30 fuel per second, which is humongous. 16 material, oh gods, it just gushes material. And you know what? I even set it down to like super low. If we go, if we max this thing, damn, it's, uh, it's beyond scary, you know. Let's just uh, moving out, moving out. patrol this thing a little bit so you can actually see. It's speed, perhaps. Anyways, uh, we have some decent armor on this thing. Oh, lords, what the hell? Shut up. Shut up. Why did why did Twitch do that to me? I don't know. Um, anyways, had it, on, <laughs> had it on. Some command made it just play. Annoying. N never mind. Um, here we can see we have uh, cram stuff there, but we basically have one layer of metal, one layer of wood to get some float and absorb some damage, one layer of metal again, backed by alloy to make it stronger and give it some float. So that's basically the armor on this thing. So I suppose it's not super thick, but it's kind of thick. And uh, then we of course have additional layers, like the AI is pretty well protected. Um, of course, as should be. We even have the beautiful little um, applique panel casing for the um, for some like random surfaces inside the ship. We of course have a lot of compartments inside, so it should be able to take some beating, you know. Any case, uh, we we have these beautiful mortars here too, and um, well, we're doing 12 meters per second. Um, I set down the steam engine to not at all produce as much power and stuff like it did before. Um, 
But we have some nice decoys that are pretty powerful just to um, eat up any radar things. I hope it's not too close. Like, I hope they actually try to target exactly this tower and just fail to uh, hit the ship. That's my hopes, but we'll see. Uh, we have some combat missiles here and there. We have anti-air missiles in the front. We have two AIs, one main AI and one anti-air AI, uh, which I, yeah, I set it up. So anyway, let's just spawn a random array and hope we don't crash the game this time. We just spawn three airplanes, a marauder, a vanguard, and uh, where are you? Atlas. Just to see its features. God, they're close. I'll need to update the missiles a little bit though. The main AI targets the largest vessel and the anti-air AI targets um, yeah, something that flies or prioritize something that flies. Oh lords, this is a problem. You can see our anti-air cannon here. It does some pretty efficient damage. Lords were actually shooting it down on top of us, kind of almost. Didn't drop any crams on us. Oh lord, it did. Here we can see two of the golem turrets are gone. And by the way, I'm really disappointed with the golem turrets. Uh, we have we have frag on the golem turrets. Um, that's my small turret model. And they just didn't do very well. Um, they don't do a lot of damage, sadly. Oh lord, this is too close. Oh no. Are we shooting are we shooting mortars on ourselves or not? I think my little additions by tiny cute little spears here on the side was actually pretty decent. Like in any of those situations where we get in a, into a collision. Oh lords, it looks like oh no, we're actually shooting mortar on ourselves <laughs> almost. Ha. Huh. Okay, we actually dealt with that sooner or later. Now we have so many crams, so we barely can see much. Oh, I forgot, we have uh, three cute torpedoes under the AA cannons as well. Um, they are very slow torpedoes, um, but they do the job, of course. They, they do the job. And of course, our cram turrets, they are maximum size. So they do, well, it's already dead. They do, they do a lot of damage. Hmm. Now I'm not, I need to check the AI here. Is it even? Yeah, maybe it's just turning slow. I think I might need to add a little rudder there. By the way, we have a sonar decoy and a chain behind the ship there. <laughs> it's a little bit fun. Of course, we didn't meet any like heavy enemy here, but just I was just wanted to show it off a little bit. Different weapons, of course, have some different kind of uh, range there, and it's not done. I need to paint it, tweak some stuff, make sure it works. I think the AI setups correctly. It's just you know, it's just as it is. What we have, I just wanna. Expert and godly. Let's have a this one and a ship. We can have the crossbones and the paddle gun. Just to get some other enemies. I love this beautiful ship. Well, <clears throat> let's see how it performs. Now we're really slow here. I hope that it won't crash the computer. I don't want another blue screen. I kind of got scared of those blue screens. Ooh, and here we can see. Um, I kind of have anticipated pulse. It's so cool you can pulse in this game. It's really cool to just be able to pulse in the middle of a fight like this. It's one of the features I love with From the Left, just deep house. Anyways, 
Um, so, oh, here we have some beautiful torpedoes in our way. Uh, anyways, uh, this is the thing. I anticipate torpedoes. So we actually have a spaced compartment with uh, floaty stuff and some extra ammunition just on the sides here, just wood and metal. So a, a torpedo hit there, even if it's a decently big torpedo, no problem, just take it. And then we have like metal um, armor and stuff behind that, so we're completely fine. Now, one problem with this ship is that, you know, if stuff don't get in front of it, it can't use its frontal cannon, so uh, yeah, that's a problem. Anyways, let's unpause this thing, I just wanted to show you that. Oh, we have our first shells in common. Miss. Okay, and here we get some shots in the side here. We take some damage. Oh, Lord, I died. <clears throat> Don't mind me. Oh, Lord, that's so annoying. Wait, why is there a... Okay, okay. Give me. Teleport. Now I'm inside the email here. This should be decently safe. Like... Oh no, I accidentally controlled the guns. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> oh lords! It's so much explosions everywhere, I don't see anything. But, um, I mean... Oh yes, and I need to check my guns here for being able to take out incoming missiles. I don't know how good of a job they're actually doing. Like, if these guys are doing a too bad job, I'll just rearrange them to be uh, anti-air cannons. Now we actually got some pretty heavy hits here, and of course we can't see because of all of the smoke, but we need to inspect this. Oh, we actually have a breach! Breach, breach! So, they are penetrated the main hull here. It's nothing behind here, it's not that protected, it's just the base for the turret, but it's still a hole. Oh lords, that's an explosion though. Yeah, there we actually took some damage. You can see there. Of course, it's just the front. Like, we have some pretty decently spaced areas here, so we can take a little beating, but... Uh, it's, it's tearing through. Ooh. Please game won't crash. And now you can see that the... Uh, the guns aren't active because they're kind of more short range, so uh, we need to get closer in range for them to actually activate. Might need to bump them up a little bit so it can, they can... I think they at least have a reach of 1000 meters. Yes, our... yeah, our advanced cannon seems fine still. Yeah, this is actually the first uh, kind of more proper battle testing I've done, so uh, <laughs> just do it um, while recording it. But I hope I hope you enjoy to see the, the performance of this ship here, uh, first time with me, with some enemies that actually can do some damage, not just marauders and some random things. We of course have some repair equipment on board, um, stuff like that. I don't know if they have sonar torpedoes, but doesn't seem like it. Haven't seen any at least. Oh, and these small guns, they just they just shoot at anything if there is no air targets left. Now our anti-air cannon is still up and rolling, that's nice to see, because this shit is really expensive, you know? Oh, lords! <laughs> They're a little bit too close for my comfort. <laughs> Maybe I need to restrict their aiming angles. Well, if I don't see an explosion on deck, I think I'll, I'll change it if we have a problem. No need to change something, that's not the problem. Uh, well, let's see how we're actually hitting stuff. Our big main guns are doing a pretty decent job, I hope. Because they're really big. Oh, this one is kind of dead. 
And we have the paddle gun. Oh, lords. Yeah, we are making uh, minced meat of this one. And we're definitely firing much better than the paddle gun. I just assumed it was in very in, in a better condition considering it is just con continuing to fire. But it's just a wood with some metal, so it's not a surprise. It's not like a hard enemy to hit. We should, however, go closer. I'll need to check my AI here. It's not going closer. It's um, not supposed to combat from this distance. My long-range missiles work nicely, though. That's pretty nice. Seems that my main 2000mm mm, uh, crams aren't doing the best job, though, of actually hitting the target. Well, I suppose the AI is uh, mostly equipped to take out this vessel. Like... Yes, my mortars. My mortars are the best for this. Like, long range and uh, basically more accurate the longer it travels. That's the beautiful thing with mortars. Because the first version of mortar, I actually tried to make it like kind of short range because I didn't want it to. Um... What? Okay, I need to change that. It's supposed to explode under uh, negative three meters, I think. Sometimes when you build in mirror mode, you forget that some settings, unfortunately, don't translate to mirror mode. And this beautiful small kind of range missiles, I set them up to uh, have uh, torpedoes as well, because that's really handy. Well, we basically won, I mean, of course, they're not gonna do anything more uh, to us, we're just dead meat laying around. We of course have some damages here, but... seem to be pretty more more or less intact oh ooh, we actually have had an explosion in our advanced gun in the front here and it didn't even do much damage oh well i think that will be it for uh, for this time so now you know what i have been working on and our new builds and I don't know if there is interest for it, but if you want to have like a copy of my builds or something, I could just upload them to Workshop. I've done that a lot in Garry's Mod and Star Made. Um, so I might start doing that in From the Depth. And that's only if you feel I'm skilled enough <laughs> to share my builds yet. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. You decide. Spam in comments as usual. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. Uh, this is Jimodism Total Nerdery Channel, signing out.